Hey everybody, I'm Suzanne, and in today's video, we're gonna do a dog portrait. And this dog portrait happens to be of a Vishla named Remy. And Remy's lady brought him into the studio, and I took many, many photographs of Remy. And, but sometimes it takes just a minute to find it. You know, you might have to, you know, shoot a bunch of photographs, but when you get the right one, you know it. And this is the photo reference that I worked from to do Remy's portrait. And here is the actual painting that I did of Remy. So as you can see, I gave him a little bit of more of his youth back. Um, his, his owner had asked that I not make him so gray in the muzzle. Yeah, I'll take a little of the age off. So we knocked it down a little bit and uh, he's looking a little younger. And uh, yeah, so let me take you step by step through this portrait of, of Remy and uh, we'll have a good time with it. So thanks so much for joining me. And if you are my subscribers, as always, thank you so much. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And that would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into this portrait. Okay, so I have a really, really fun um, portrait that I'm going to share with you today. So this is, this is Remy, and Remy is a Vishla, and I am going to do his portrait. Now, this is one of those situations where I'll be able to share um, my references with you on this one. And um, I'm just, I'm painting on, um, this is a 16 by 20 uh, stretched linen, uh, Belgian linen panel, so, or Belgian linen, it's stretched. You can see it, there's the canvas. So, anyhow. I'm just going to start off by just using a little, um, a little um, um, raw sienna paint and just kind of sketch out where Remy is going to go on the canvas. So here we go. This is where we're starting and I'm going to show you. It's, so there's no, I'm not going to show you the palette yet because I'm just going to do the sketch and I'm going to do it in time lapse. So here we go. <laughs> I'm mixing a, a, a very nice gray color for this background of uh, Remy, the Vishla. So I'm gonna use titanium white, King's Blue, Payne's Gray, and Burnt Sienna. I wanted to show you the setup. I will be able to show you the reference of Remy as I'm working on his portrait. So um, this is what I'm, what this is my reference. I'm gonna back it out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Um, we have a lot of different references of Remy, but this was the one that I liked the best. I, I just like this because he was so focused on his mom and his mouth was actually closed. Now, one of the, the characteristics of Remy that um, my client loves about her, her pup is the fact that he has smile wrinkles. Now, you really can't see his smile wrinkles here, but I think that the, his eye being so focused on his mom is what I just, I just love that. So that is what I'm going for in this particular piece. So stay tuned. I'm just gonna do a very loose blocking in. I'm gonna use a, uh, actually a larger brush. This is a, a number, um, I don't even have my glasses on, folks. I don't, it's getting harder. 
This is a number 16 Rosemary Eclipse Filbert. It's a pretty big brush. Um, but I'm just gonna start putting in just blocks of color. So I'm looking and he's got, I did punch up the color a little bit in my photo reference. Um, she's wanting me to use his more young version with less white in his muzzle. So um, I am mixing a little bit of the Burnt Sienna and Yellow Lake. And I'm just going to start looking around where I can see just a, now I'm doing very thin amounts of color. I don't want to I should, if I'm using this yellow, I should have some purple on here, but I don't yet. Just popping this in where I, and so some of this, you know, the, some of the structure may change. As I move along. I'm just kind of hitting the, hitting high notes here. Kind of be mindful that I'm not I don't want to change his age per se but I do want to give my client what they're looking for so I do have some pictures of Remy as a younger pup younger dog and I'm just going to it is harder because it is it's so different than what I know he probably looks like so just kind of give this a little bit of a, a wash if you will and I'm using very little paint at the stage of the game I'm just kind of getting Rubbing this in. We're, we're working on this. Happens to be a um, Belgian linen stretched substrate. So he's got a lot of yellow in his body. Bring a little bit of white in there. A little bit of burnt sienna. Um, a little bit of an angle here. I actually need to have yellow ochre. I do need it. Mm -hmm. A little French yellow ochre down. This is also a Michael Harding color. First, it doesn't look very different. Actually, I think I need something else. I think I need... That's not the color. You're hearing my brain thinking out loud. Sorry. I'm gonna put a little cad down. Good thing, I haven't taken care of this tube of paint very well. So it's kind of chunky and gross and nasty. Okay, so that happens too. There we go, that's a little bit better. Probably doesn't look any different. She is. Looks different on my palette, but it doesn't when I put it down on my... I will be blending that off. I don't want to. I'm not really sure where we're going to end this off, so I don't want to get too nuts here. I'm going to take a little bit of that umber. Again, using large brush, just putting down shapes.
folds, you know, so I'm going, I'm, like I said, I'm very loose initially when I start my piece, but I still want to keep my brush stroke going in the direction that it should be going. a lot of the thickness through here and it actually kind of comes down here so we're just gonna again it's very 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 um, suggested at, the, at this stage of the game just looking at um, shapes I'm, I'm, I'm looking for shapes is what I'm doing a little bit, um, meaning off off what I initially sketched. That happens sometimes for me. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of that. So from here, it kind of goes. Top of this little, little head. I have to be really careful because my reference that I'm looking at is definitely an older dog. And, um, I may actually put him in the way I see it and then light, uh, darken him up a little bit towards the end with glazing. Because he's got a lot of white in his face. <laughs> she asked me not to do that. She wants him to look young. I might have to look at some of my references that I have of him as a younger dog. I like to keep my um, background color. Eh, that's not right. I need a, a different blue one here, I can tell you that. I'm just going to kind of put it there. I added a uh, two other colors to my palette here. I added Mars Red and Mars Violet. Both of those colors happen to be from Blue Ridge Oil Colors out of Asheville, North Carolina. If you watched my last video, you will know all about this wonderful paint. And I needed to because even though my reference of Remy is predominantly yellows, um, a younger Vishla may actually have a redder cast. And so, I'm putting, I'm trying to, I'm trying to ride that fence between um, the current photo reference that I have of him and some of his younger, more youthful photos. I also added, as far as colors, um, the Windsor Newton Flesh color, which is a very light pink, pinky color, and that's really helping with um, the lighter values of a younger Vishla. Ah, the eyes. You know it's my favorite part of any uh, pet portrait, or human portrait for that matter. I'm using the paint scraper just to take out some of the paint that I have here because I want the whites of his eyes 
when I mean whites, I mean the shine, actually, of his eyes to be really intense. He is looking up at his mom when I photographed him for this. And you could tell he's so devoted to his person. And I really wanted to capture that eye. So, you know, I you can see the color that is in his eye. And he's got a very interesting gold color eye. And I wanted to give him the highlights and the shine in his eye just to give you that lively beautiful look of a dog's eye and I'm just going to go ahead and work my way around it but I'm going to start switching to a smaller brush um, this brush happens to be a uh, ooh, what is that that looks like a number two Eclipse um, Filbert that I'm currently working with here and then I'm going to actually switch to a very small um, it's like a zero um, pointed round uh, sable brush so I can get in there and get all the little tight details that I that makes painting eyes so incredibly fun. Uh, now here's the number two Rosemary Pure Sable. Um, it's the 93 series. And this is going to allow me to really get into little tight places inside the eye. And being a sable, it will also allow me to do quite a bit of blending. And there is a transition between the inside lid and where the skin starts on the exterior part of the dog's face. So I've got to be able to make that transition nice and and nice and seamless and actually a sable is the perfect choice for this job and I just got to go in and put a lot of little details in and that's the fun part as you know and this is just a great little brush so I'm using believe it or not this happens to be um, the color that I'm putting down I know it looks white but it really isn't it's it's the um, Windsor Newton flesh tone mixed with a little bit of the um, just a tad of the uh, is it the Mars Red, I think. As I work on the eye and I'm trying to get the detail, you know, it, it, it probably, you can see here, if I put the eye side by side, that you can really see the fun colors and all the intricacies that goes into making a, an eye. And there's subtle 
there's subtle changes in some of the shine color that you see. I, I reflected more of an aqua color or a well, kind of a turquoisey color uh, in the shine. And I'm popping in just the little bits. You can see the little bits of colors and strange shapes and the oddness that makes this eye distinctly Remy's eye. Not just any dog's eye and not just any Vishla's eye, but this is Remy's eye. And I'm wanting to get all the little shines and all the fun stuff in there. And this is what makes everything so fun when you're doing a portrait. This is the fun stuff. Now the stroke that I'm using here is just a little short fat stroke, but I'm trying to go in the direction that his fur goes. Now, remember there's a lot of structure underneath here and sometimes just the way your brush rolls um, will actually help create that structure. And you can see that I'm laying down a lot more of this uh, aversion, even if it's a lighter value, of the redder color. Even though the, the actual photo reference of Remy is very yellow. Uh, you can see this is where a lot of that really fun Mars Red and Mars Violet is coming into play here. And I'm, you know, just trying to get all the shapes in at this point.
since often time when the angle of my camera when I'm videotaping it, it's kind of awkward I did want to show you what the picture looks straight on and that's a more correct angulation of the dog's head and uh, there we have it I just wanted to show that to you here Now here I'm just really trying to finesse the area of Remy's nose and you know how dogs nostrils are you you know just trying to get that tip of his muzzle and getting it correct um, you know all the little nuances trying to get in the folds and all the the parts of Remy's nose and you can see as I'm just I'm using actually a pretty small brush here I'm using the uh, number two sable and it's doing the job. I, I need to have that refinement and that finesse. And the, this little brush is doing the trick. Just trying to get everything in here. Um, you'll see that I'm actually going to, all of a sudden, this dog is going to seem very red. And I felt like I needed to start basically with a red dog. And you'll see here in just a minute, there's going to be a whole lot more uh, of the, um, uh, it's the, uh, Mars red and Mars violet that will go into blocking in around the neck and the ear and all this area. And you'll see it's the colors that are on the lower um, right hand part of that palette that I'm working with. And oftentimes I do like to work with a vertical, you know, just paint like this side by side, side by side. It makes it a little bit easier and uh, it does help quite a bit. But yes, still finessing that nose and, the, and just the little light areas around the muzzle and uh, just getting all Remy's hair in here. And boom, just like that, Remy is a lot redder. But why I wanted to start with the red is it will make it easier to layer the yellower colors on top. Now, being that I am kind of giving Remy a little bit of his youth back and a little bit less white of the muzzle, I kind of needed to go in this direction. So you can see I'm stacking the paint now. And so I'm stacking it, you know, with more of a yellow um, color on top of the red color. And I'm not really, I'm not really getting the detail in yet, um, but I am using a more furry stroke. You know, the Vichela does have a nice fine coat. It's not, a, it's not a coarse coat, which this tends to be a little bit of a coarser uh, stroke that I'm using. But you'll see, I will refine it quite a bit as I lay the smaller strokes on top, which I will be using a, um, a little quarter inch um, dagger brush to do the little hairs. But... I'm feeling like now Remy is kind of taken off. So I'm still here. I am just using the number two sable um, and getting again the area around the eyes, making sure that the brush strokes go in the direction that I need them to go. Um, and, you know, sorry about my big hand getting in the way, but I have to make sure that the actual hair goes in the correct direction. And that gives the rest of, you know, it kind of directs the eye and makes it flow the way it should <laughs> and uh, his beautiful nose just sticking out there but yep this is coming along and I am having a ball this is where I start having a lot of fun I've already worked out problems if you will and now I'm just going in with the fun so here it is with the using the dagger brush to create the hairs and I'm going to have to start stacking those hairs so they may seem kind of long at first um, but they will get shorter and shorter because they'll be stacked on top of each other. Ah, the trick.
And now it's just lots of the same. A lot of the little short strokes going in to create the fur on Remy's face using the small dagger brush. It's a quarter inch dagger. And I'm just laying it in. And you know, you can see here as I'm doing it, I'm keeping with the direction that his jawline, I'm letting the hair follow um, the way it would normally lie. So if you are looking at a reference, make sure you do know where the hair's going and, and which direction it should go. Um, that's important because I've seen a lot of amazing, mm, maybe beautiful paintings from far off. But when you get up, when people want to get in all these little hairs, and they're going in the wrong direction. It kills it for me. It absolutely kills it. Now, I'm saying that every painting needs to be this, um, this much detail. Um, but this is fun for me, and I'm having a ball. And I happen to know that uh, Remy's mom, is, I think this is just exactly what she's looking for, what she's wanting. So I really have to just fill in the rest of the head. And more and more and more little hairs. Just touching up a little of the background, adding a little blue and a little bit of splash of color here and there since I basically have an orange dog. And there you have it. I Here I think I'm finished. Okay, folks, I think I'm showing you this completed piece of Remy. And I'm, I'm quite proud of it, actually. I want to bring it in, show you the detail. But I noticed after I was vet editing today's video that I had left out some really important things and that would be the whisker tracks and little hairs. So I actually go back and fix that. You'll see. All right, so I thought I finished, right? But then realized I had left out little details like the whisker tracks, just the little spots that you see in these little whisker tracks and just little tiny like little areas of light where, you know, the moist nose or just even some of the area around the eye. So I actually went back and started adding this other little tiny details. It could be like little freckles around the lip area, the whisker tracks, a little shine in the nose, a little bit more hair on the chin, little tiny details. But I got them in. I did that at the last minute when I actually thought it was already finished and realized when I was editing the video <laughs> that I did not finish it indeed because this dog did not have whisker tracks. So anyway, this is actually the completed version of Remy. And here we have it. So this is Remy's portrait and I had a lot of fun doing it. You know, of course, the eyes, right? The eyes are the funnest part for me to paint. I love painting eyes, especially dog's eyes. And in this particular painting, Remy was looking up at his person, at his mama, 
Denise. And he just looked at her with so much love and I thought, <gasps> Boom, there's the photo reference that we're gonna do. She brought, she brought Remy into the studio and I took photographs of him here. And of course, he's an older dog. And I wanted to paint him, she asked to paint him a little younger. So I did a little bit of a younger coloration, a little less gray in the muzzle, so to speak. So this is Remy as a younger dog looking up at his mom. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and if, you aren't a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and know that very soon we will be having our membership here on YouTube. And if you like this sort of thing, consider also my Patreon channel. If you want a little extra special attention, go on, go and hit me up on Patreon. So there you have it. So thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.